This is the 18th century manuscript that I will reproduce. This is a very interesting manuscript because mixed uh, features of Western and Islamic binding are evident in, in this example. It was made in the late 18th century, 1780s, and um, from outside it looks really like um, Western 18th century binding where this kind of decoration, the lines and everything is very typical of this uh, time, this period binding in the Western world. But then outside is actually is an Arabic manuscript and all the other features like the handbands, the sewing of the book block and um, the making of the cover leather and the attachment of the cover with the book block are actually very Islamic. We want to show how this book was made so I will be sewing the book block with the unsupported sewing I will be making new handbands in the Islamic style I will be then preparing the leather cover and decorating it as it is decorated on the original and then I will attach the cover to the book block. Eastern binding, the main feature that characterize this kind of structure is the fact that they don't have support. So they are sewn, the book block, only with the help of the sewing thread. What I will use is a curved needle, because for this kind of sewing, this is the needle is needed. Pre-hold the section, so you can see there is a mark on the spine. This is the spine of the book block. So I already have the holes where the thread and the needle will go through. And I made them exactly in the same place where they are in, in the 18th century binding. So basically I'm just starting finding the middle. Okay. So needle from outside, then coming out from the the other hole, you leave a bit of thread hanging from that, and then you go to the following, following section, again you check that you find the middle, you place it on top, making the link to join last section with the rest of the book block and in this case I will just make another passage to secure the sewing by making a knot like this and then that's it. The book block is sort of ready. You can already now see there is a book here in my hands. But is uh, I would say flimsy. I mean, the sewing is, is only this thread that is joining all the sections. So you can see it's really fragile. So my spine is flat. The book is flat. This is another of the typical feature of Islamic Eastern binding, where the, the, the spine is flat instead of having the round shape that we are used to. And so we just add some glue and some material. In this case, I'm using a light linen cloth. Then I'll leave it to dry. <laughs> Well, now that the book has been sewn and the spine lining has been attached on the, on the back, um, 
I, I will I will make the hand band. Hand bands are small but very important features of uh, of books of and bound books because um, they they work as part of the entire structure to make a well bound volume uh, working properly where uh, we don't have a great strength on the sewing structure the hand bend will add stability and strength to entire the entire book block i will start from one of the edges the hand bends are at head and tail and um, you will see they are um, sewn uh, with um, different kind different kind of thread first cotton that i will use the same thread i used for the sewing and then a secondary sewing that will be made on with um, with silk thread this time we'll work with a, a straight needle so a normal sewing needle the same thread we used before islamic handbands islamic style handbands the, their cores are made of leather so from a piece of in this case this piece of goat leather i trimmed a little strip so i will just cut a little piece like this and i will place it on top here this piece of paper will help me as i said to identify exactly where the middle is so i can go inside and come outside <coughs> First passage is double because I need to start with the first loop. So this one is done, the first section is done. Then I move to the second one and I do the same. By doing this, I secure the core, so the strip of leather with the book, with the book block. And on top of that, these passages of thread, they will be the base for the decorative secondary sewing that is made with um, silk thread. I have again a straight needle, a, a smaller one, much smaller one, and uh, I just, I choose these two colors of uh, silk, sort of gold silk and blue silk to match the original colors. So I will first of all secure <clears throat> the thread just passing it through the primary sewing so just just that is there I will start waving the two colors to create a chevron pattern and I start by passing my needle and the blue thread under the primary sewing and around the other color thread like now the sewing is finished <laughs> sewing we have done the handbands the spine lining so now we need to do the cover oh, I choose a piece of leather um, and I mark the dimension of the the dimension of the of the board inside and now I need to to pair the leather and pairing the leather I'm doing it with this blade that I've made myself ages ago um, and it's about um, removing the flesh from it, the flesh of the of the skin to make the leather thin enough to then be folded and not have any steps inside so now it's time to prepare the cover now wetting the leather this is just helps the leather to not get stained when you're working with the glue. So now, just place on the leather. Then I start making the turnings. 
this one is again something that would probably not happen in this way but again I Islamic binding are made in many different ways this part is called head cup and in some of the binding Islamic binding as we know them or at least as we define feature wise these kind of structures we can many times find that actually the leather is not turned in but it's just cut flesh Now we need to leave it to dry. So I'm basically now uh, recreating a sort of um, similar decoration like the one we have on the original manuscript. And uh, if we were really in a Western environment, so with craftsmanship and techniques of a Western binder, instead of painted gold like we have on this original we would have gold leaf so you, if you look at the manuscript closer you can actually see that somehow the pigment the gold pigment was applied probably with a quill or with a calamus because we are 18th century and I will do it with a pen Now we finished to apply the pigment that is like you know the, pen, the golden pen that I've used to trace the lines and I'm now going to use a finishing tool with a similar kind of shape of the one was used on the original is it like a sort of leaf cover is finished, the decoration is done and we are going to um, attach the cover to the book block and in this kind of binding the only real basic connection is that the leather of the spine is attached with the book block like starch paste glue, the same one we used before to attach the boards with the, with the leather of the cover and also on the leather now we need to leave the book to dry I'm removing the weights and um, the spine is attached to the, to the book what we are going to do now is to attach the doubleur. The doubleur is the in, in, is, is a is a word that we use in book binding terminology, and basically is a piece of something that is not at all related to the cover and to the book block, that is attached to cover the inside of the board. With a very sharp blade, a scalpel in this case, I'm going to trim this leather. Also, this one I need 
now need to dry, especially here at the joint. And to create the decoration that we see on the original from inside, what they did, they just cut a strip of paper like this on a zigzag and they, they just attached it on top. Now, just go underneath. my scalpel here to dry. So the copy of uh, 18th century mixed Western and Islamic binding is finished. Mm -hmm.